All right, look at this cool water fountain. Water. And there's a rock on there. Yeah, definitely. So uh, today we are taking a. We took a trip to Waterloo, New York, the village of Waterloo, New York. This little village is packed with history, but the most famous thing that happened here in Waterloo um, is this town is known as the birthplace of Memorial Day um, and this became official back in 1966 where the New York State governor announced uh, this declaration uh, this town the village itself is located in the county of uh, Seneca County there's approximately 5,000, uh, the population here is approximately just over 5,000. Uh, so we're gonna take a look, walk the streets, and check out the downtown. So come join us. This is Kit from Fortnite. This is, who is this from Fortnite? Mouse Scores. Mouse Scores, all right. Not even the name. What's his name? Mouse Scores. Mouse Scores. Eric got a new toy now. A Fortnite toy. So there's a very prominent building up ahead. And this used to be a hotel that was destroyed by a large fire, which really devastated this town. Uh, it's currently taken over by Community Bank, but apparently lots of different banks were housed in this building here, which was rebuilt post a fire, which took place, I wanna say maybe a good 70, 80 years ago. Uh, but right in the heart of town is this, uh, the, the, the person who owned this hotel invested everything into it and not sure if they had fire insurance back in those days so that's the police department and the village hall that's an interesting looking building here Kind of plain Jane. So we just crossed. We're gonna go w walk back toward main uh, main uh, village area. See what's on this side of the street. A lot of times when you're driving, you can't really catch the essence of the village. So it's nice to just get out, walk around, do a little exploring. See what's popping. Savannah Bank. Quite a few banks here in the village. Who wants this car, boys? Yeah? How many speeding tickets would you get in that bad boy? No, not for you. Amy's checkered flag, a bar. I presume. There we go. Some folks are chilling at this bar. Outside, enjoying the nice cold beverages. What is this? Moho's Tavern. All right. And what's the green apple? Do we know what the green apple is? Not sure. Doesn't say. Probably a restaurant. Real estate. Okay, okay. Looks very pretty. Very well kept. This is interesting. It's called Waterloo Woolens. What happened, bud? check out these antiques over here those American flags 
Very well kept. I see a piggy. You see a piggy. Cool. A few empty shops. Oh, check this out. This is the historic downtown area. There's Abraham Lincoln in that picture photograph. Beast Cafe, that looks interesting. Okay, so we got the post office across the street. Uh, some cool signs, Seneca Chamber of Commerce. Can someone hit? Uh, actually, give me your hand. We're gonna cross, run, run. Don't go in there, Eric, you're gonna get stuck. So check out their bank. I mean the post office. Brick building. And I see a little Mexican restaurant across the street. La Fiesta Brava. There's a few bars, restaurants. I think we need to find a pizzeria to see what kind of pizza they have here in Waterloo. That's my signature move. Check out the pizza. So what restaurant are we passing now? Cicino's. Cicino's Pizzeria and Restaurant. All right, we might go in. If you just want to grab a few slices here, I just go up front. Yeah, help you right right, cool, thank you. Yeah, that, that, so we bought some cheese slices and uh, this place is called Cicino's, Cicino's in Waterloo. All right, we got some cheese slices. We're about to dig in and give it a nice taste test. They look good. Okay, was it just stuck in the bubble? All right. Let me Not grab my slice. Got our soda, our pizza. Finally. Finally. Yep, thank you, sir. Logan, you want to do a taste test for me and see if you like it? From scroll 1 to 10, what does Logan think? <laughs> Mister. Good. You're good. Nine. Nine? Wow, that's. That's crazy. I don't think I've ever given anyone a nine. It's crispy. Why did you not get it at all? Alright, flip. I give this a million thousand right. million. It's on. I don't I don't really know why I keep it. Now you got sauce. Yeah. Why did you get it? Do you like it? The last pizza review, you said you said it was too soft. One more bite. This pizza gets an 8.2. What's well, not giving you a 10? Eric wants to do it. Whoa. Good. Good? Eric says good. 
But yeah, my score 8.2, which is really good. Why is like a thousand? Um, I guess it's like a thousand. I just want a little more zest in that sauce. Crunchy, thin. I guess it's cheese like is a, great. I just a little more zest flavor in the sauce. That that's I would give it a little higher. Yes, yes, yes. I give this a thousand. Eric gives it a thousand. Yes. Yeah, so that was our good pizza. Strongly recommend this place. Waterloo folks got it made. And if you're looking for work in Waterloo, the pizzeria is hiring. So while the boys eat, here's the report card for Waterloo, New York, uh, according to niche.com. Overall, they give this town a B minus. Public schools, C plus, housing, B minus. Jobs, B, cost of living, B plus. Uh, crime and safety, B. Nightlife, B plus. Uh, weather, they give it a C, probably because it snows. 70% of the year health and fitness C plus and a commute an A minus um, There's Eric, please don't interrupt. That's not very nice Okay, we'll talk later So <laughs> Anyways, uh, for as far as real estate goes the median median home value here is 87,000 Median rent is 767, and 77% uh, of folks own their homes. <coughs> that wasn't very nice. <laughs> You're really working hard, huh? To try to distract me today? Uh, no. What, what did you want to say? You wanted to say something. What are you trying to. Are you talking about that dirty house? What dirty house? That's not a dirty house. Yes, it is. Uh-uh. I'm talking about that old house with has grass on it. Yeah, that's iconic to have grass on your house. It's a brick house. It's historic. It's been around for over 100 years. Presbyterian Church. This way, bud. And here they have the National Memorial Day Museum. Eighteen twenty. A lot of history in these homes who lived there. Lots of stories. Oh, look at that cute cat just hanging out. Uh oh. He's a little skinny. Okay, just don't run on the street, bud. Main Street. Main Street, sorry. Yeah, th this town is there's another sign for the pizzeria they're de desperately looking for people like like most companies in America nowadays with most restaurants begging people to come back and work and paying some outrageous hourly wages <laughs> Uh, I heard that a place, uh, some fast food restaurants in, I'm not sure if it's Texas, I'm not sure what state, but they're paying teenagers a $50,000 salary just to work in a fast food restaurant. That's how desperate folks are to get employees in, in the door.
what is this over here? Oh, that's a Chinese restaurant, a China buffet, I think. Not just a Chinese restaurant. Okay, so this is the Bee's Bake Shop. They're just being very silly. Because they've been cooped up in school all day and they just want to enjoy this beautiful weather. And I can't blame them. Yeah, so I think it's a cool little town to visit. National Register of Historic Places. Boys, make a right, please. The American Legion. Post 435. Crumbling house across the street can use a facelift, but that is the historic building that the sign read up front. Let's check it out and see what the name of this building is. The M. Clintock House, site where the Declaration of, Sem of Sentiments was drafted for the first woman's rights convention and there you go let's, let's walk around it So this is the Waterloo United Methodist Church and what caught my eye are the beautiful glass stained windows. Check this out guys. Look, boys look at those windows. And the clock tower, that is very unique looking. The Waterloo Library and Historic Society, boys. Let's go walk over here for a second. Boys will be boys. So that's the library. Too bad they're closed. I wish I could go in and check it out. And they have a museum inside if you come during work hours called Terwill Terwilliger Museum. Terwilliger. Say that ten times in a row. Terwill. Come on, Logan. Say say the name of that museum ten times. I give you ten bucks real quick. Go. No, you're not saying the R. There's an R in there. Tur Williger. Okay, just give up. It's okay. I couldn't say it myself. But let's. Oh, ten bucks, huh? I couldn't say it. He definitely could say it. The Bull Wheel, Waterloo Woolen Mill. This wheel or pulley turned the same shaft as did the water wheel, which was the source of power for the factory. Various flat leather bells ran to other smaller pulleys throughout the factory, which did what electricity does now, making the plant operate. For the looms and other equipment, these were the electric 
uh, motors of that air. Water rotary. Dose of history. Yeah, this church is really cool. Almost looks like a castle. I mean, it looks exactly like a castle. Let's head back. Behind the main strip, look at all those decks. They're doing rehabs and renovations back here. I believe this is called Lafayette Park. Dedicated to the honor and sacrifice of our men and women who served our country in World War I and II. And on the side you have uh, individuals who died in the Vietnam War who lived in this town and also the Korean War. This is surrounded by two cannons. heart recipients they paid for our freedom with blood that's right now this archway I believe used to be the entrance to one of their schools which was torn down back in 1929 I do believe and they moved it to this park let me see if there's a plaque here okay This monument reads, in honor of the boys in blue who fought in the Civil War from 1861 to 1865. And that's the courthouse, the Seneca County Courthouse. Let's check it out. And they do historic tours here as well. Doesn't say when this building was built. Looks pretty cool. This place is called Oak Island, wow, and it's, it's totally on an island. It isn't an island. Really? Yeah. So this entire boat is an island. Well, yeah, it? there's people fishing here. It is on an island. Yeah, that's what's cool about it. There's barbecue grill. Yeah. So we found the 
mural, the Waterloo mural with the founders and some of the historical uh, momentums such as the woman rights movement. And I believe, um, all right, so that's the general, that's General John Murray and Henry Carter Wells, who I believe was a pharmacist. And it was his idea to organize the first Memorial Day here in Waterloo. And so there's a depiction of the Erie Canal and you can see how the horses or the mules would push the boats up and down the canal back in the day. Yep, and this work of art, I do believe was done just a couple of years ago, if I'm not mistaken, by a guy whose first name is Steve and last name I forgot, young guy. But yep, he did an awesome job. Cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed our trip to Waterloo, New York. Uh, God bless and take care.